What up YouTube, you're by the Flying Spanner here. Today we have a model airport update and as you can see, it's the UK version. Uh, this has been a right pain to set up because I've got to put the scenery out today. I'll get some pictures and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I'll, everything just, trying to get the supports, the boards all to uh, stay aligned and not be gapped like, like it is now. Um, it's just a pain, so I, I kind of, I thought we just thought, oh, it's good enough. Um, as you can tell, this update's going to be a busy one. And, uh, let me reset this a bit. Um, it's going to be a busy one. Got loads going on uh, on the airport. Loads of models out. Loads of movements going on as well, which is quite good. Um, it's a bit of a weird time. It's uh, about five o'clock in the evening on, I believe, a Thursday. Um, and, yeah, I've added a few new routes in as well or a few new services um the main reason i wanted to get this one is for the royal and morocco I realized i haven't got any updates for that and so i thought i'd uh, utilize it so with that said crack it on uh let's use three times zoom so i don't have to move as far because you know may as well so just arriving in runway 23 is in use we've got the iberia a350 this is just arriving in from madrid and just after the Korean past, uh, just pushing back, we have a Ryanair 737 MAX. Uh, that's pushing and... Where's that going? It arrived in from Lanzarote a fair while ago, to be fair. Um, and it's departing back out to Lisbon. The Ryanair to the left of it, that arrived in, just arrived in from Agadir, and will be departing out to Cork. Uh, the Jet 275, the uh, baggage team have just finished and uh, this aircraft's down for the day now. So uh, yeah, this aircraft just arrived in from Faro. Uh, it's being looked after for the night and uh, probably some deep cleaning and maintenance going on. So, all that good stuff. Just taxiing in, got Korean Air 777300. So as I said, for these times you get quite, you get some of your Far East operators, you just get a bit more of a, it's a, a, a lot. It's got all the other routes that aren't American, pretty much. Uh, so it adds a bit of variety to the update, which is quite good. Yeah, this Korean Air is just arriving in from Seoul. It'll be going out in a couple of hours' time. Parked up. So arrived in about an hour and a half ago. Uh, it's down for a good few hours. Got the Malaysian A350. Uh, this arrived in from Kuala, well, it's arriving in and departing out to Kuala Lumpur. Then another reason, well, I haven't had Wizz Airs in an update in a while, so generally I, I find there's always the same aircraft. There's a few Ryanairs, a couple of EasyJets, uh, Lufthansa's, KLM's, your kind of core European airlines. Um, you don't really get some of the rarer ones, well, not rare as such in the markets scheme of things, but in uh, the update scheme of things. Uh, the Wizz Air A320neo, this aircraft's just preparing for push, it's in the final stages. Um, and this aircraft is heading out to, well, operating a to and from Varna, I think that's how you say it. Um, we've got a Swiss C-Series, this is one of the new routes available for the winter. Um, this Swiss C-Series 100 or A220-100 uh, is operating the flight to Geneva. Next to that, just arrived in, I think. Uh, what did I say wrong? Oh no, so this aircraft, this Ryanair, is uh, just finishing up as well. All the stages of boarding. Arrived in from Santander and is uh, departing out to Madrid. Next to that, got an EasyJet A320neo. This just arrived on stand um, and this arrived in from Las Palmas, Las Palmas, Gran Canaria. Um, and is departing out to Geneva. I uh, got an hour and a half, two hour turn on that one, so not a massive rush, but still nice enough that it's going back out. Then, kind of the reason why I wanted to do the update at this time, anyway. Uh, Royal Air Maroc 737 Max. Yeah, I don't think I've used this in a wee year. I do quite like the delivery. It's probably the first time it's been out of the box for a long period. Uh, this aircraft's operating a Casablanca service. Lufthansa next to it, operating at Frankfurt, I think. No, I'm 
terrible today. This uh, Lufthansa is operating in Munich. Empty stand where the Korean is going. ANA 777-300. Once again, don't think I've had this one the update yet. Um, this aircraft is, it's a I think it's a daily service to Tokyo Haneda. And it's, it's just quite nice to have different aircraft on the board um, compared to the usual. Um, next to that, just, just arriving on to stand, got an EasyJet A319 uh, operating Belfast. Across the way, Aeromexico 787 uh, on a remote stand, it arrives in about half past three. Um, and doesn't depart till half past 10. So it takes a while and um, it's on the ground for a while and it operates to Mexico City. I'm trying to make this one a, a daily service as well, but it's on it's on today anyway. Um, I'll have a look, see if I can fit it in daily. Once again, just for a bit of variation. And now I've got space on the board, just bulks up the board a bit. So just pushing back next to it, we have a Cafe Pacific Cargo. 747-A uh, operating, uh, where's this going? Uh, arrived in from Dubai World Cargo, or well, the Dubai Cargo Airport uh, is departing out to Hong Kong. Been down for a couple hours. Another Wizz Air, so Wizz Airs are quite few and far between, but they always seem to arrive in pairs for whatever reason. And this Wizz Air is just, where is it? Mid-turn kind of arrived in 15 minutes ago and uh, funnel bags being taken off and that arrived in well arrived in and departing out to Baku. Erling SA320 in the new scheme um, once again final stages of boarding and that goes out in about 10 minutes out to Dublin it's kind of the afternoon evening service. Then next to that KLM 737-800 um, same again, final stage is boarding, fuel going on board, operating the evening afternoon at Amsterdam. Another service I've added in, uh, another model I haven't particularly used much, um, but I do like delivery and I like using, it's a, having a C-series is um, nice, it's, it makes it different. So um, yeah, this Air Baltic A220-300 I think, uh, is operating Tallinn. On to the other side of the board, onto the other side of the terminal. Got an EasyJet A321 Neo. This aircraft just arrived in from... Right, this one just arrived in from Tenerife and is on quite a short turn and will be heading back out to Paris Charles de Gaulle. Next to that got a Virgin 787-9. Another two, two, two and a half hour turnaround, so quite a quick turn. Uh, just being decated, cleans just turned up and um, this arrived in from Los Angeles and is departing out to JFK. Behind that, got a Turkish 787-9 uh, operating to Istanbul. It's about 20 minutes late, but um, couldn't find a passenger or something, probably. It's normally the case. A um, few 78s in a row, but good, good amount of 78s anyway. Um, Japan Airlines 787-8 and this one goes to Tokyo Haneda as well. Oh, I thought one would go to Narita and one would go to, oh, oh well. I thought one would do a Narita and one would do a Haneda, but I haven't got that creative with the schedule, obviously. Um, BA A320 Neo in the BA Better World scheme, the lovely blue one, and um, that's operating the shuttle um, service to Heathrow. Uh, next to that, just away, probably next in line, or is it? Who knows? Uh, yeah, next in line, because that's also a little bit late, the uh, TAP A320 Neo, uh, that's operating to Lisbon. Then we've got Kenyan Airways 787, uh, once again, good two, three hour turnaround, and this is operating Nairobi, and final aircraft, got the LATAM 777-300, just being catered, cleaned, um, down for a while, uh, which operates Sao Paulo. Yeah, it's a fairly quick update. Um, so I'd just I was didn't have much going on at the weekend. I had some spare time, so I thought oh, I'll get the board out and prepare an airport update. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, yeah, I'll try and get some pictures for the for the gram. 
because uh, it's nice to have the board fully set up for once. Um, it does annoy me, I just can't wait to be able to get up kind of on a permanent basis uh, just so I can finish off like all the buildings over there and the little extension bits and probably have to make it bigger or something. Um, <laughs> there's always time for that. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching the Apple update. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it and hope you have seen the next video. Have a very, very, very good weekend. Um, and yeah, adios and goodbye.